I began reading Malinowski's books well aware that I was one of the few descendants who's taken an interest in his work. I'm amazed by the topics he takes on. Mythology, sex and magic rituals, spirits of the dead, flying witches and sorcery to name a few. These are books that have been read in anthropology classes for decades. They have titles like Crime and Custom and Sex and Repression in Savage Society. When I think of the word savage, I think of something wild, violent, uncontrolled. What did he mean by savage? Is that word just a part of the daily vernacular of that time? Or is Malinowski saying something more? The island of Kirowina lies 90 miles off the coast of mainland Papua New Guinea in the South Pacific. It's 30 miles long and has a population of about 12,000. As I read the diary, from page to page, I don't know how to feel about Malinowski. On so many days, he's a racist tyrant, and I'm shocked and disgusted with him. On other days, he's fighting his feelings of alienation, longing to be anywhere but there. On others, he's pathetic and vulnerable, and I feel sorry for him. But some of his statements are so shocking, it's hard to feel anything but anger. And this is my ancestor, revealing his most savage side. He is a larger-than-life personality. The frustrations he was up against, the period in which it was written. But it's hard to include their statements because I feel like that lets him off the hook. There is a relentless honesty in the diaries. Page after page, he evaluates his every thought and action, obsessed with understanding himself. Was it this obsession that drove him to study other people? He writes about his sexual desires, his relationship with his mother, his relationship to God, all topics that came to life in his books through the humanity of the Trobrianders. I find it interesting to read about his work and think, oh, he's 